In this movie, we'll work from the background graphic we just created to create the color indicator, the sector graphic uh, for our gauge. So selecting the current graphic, the background, just duplicate it. You have a couple ways to do that, right? You can press Control D to duplicate the shape. You can hold down the Control key and drag, and you can also uh, do a Control C to copy and then a Control V to paste. So a lot of options for duplicating. First thing I want to do for this, right, is remove the drop shadow. I don't need that inner shadow for the colored version. So shape effects, shadow, and then we'll just choose none. And let's go ahead and just give a green fill. A couple things we could have done differently, and then uh, maybe certainly some ways that you can play around with it, is we could have created multiple versions or colored versions, you know, red, yellow, uh, green. We could do some different types of uh, color status. We're just working with one color in this example, but um, obviously there's a lot of different ways to go about it. Now, real quick, I'm gonna do something, and that is I want to flip both of these horizontally. I mostly only need to flip the top one, but I'm gonna flip the back one, the bottom one as well, just to be sure that they're both perfectly aligned. The reason I wanna do that is that the way the two handles work here with the, uh, the, the, the arc is if I drag this handle up, you can see that I reduce it. Well. I don't want to go that way with the graphic. I actually always want to keep the graphic positioned here and then adjust how much of the arc is shown on this side. So the best way to do that is just to flip these horizontally. The reason I'm flipping them both is that I, it's possible that when I adjusted the width of this graphic, maybe I moved the uh, bottom line down a little bit one way or the other. I want to make sure that they fit together perfectly, so by flipping these both horizontally, I can ensure that they're always going to uh, be a duplicate. So just flip horizontal. Hey, no changes there. Position it in place. Always probably a good idea to select both, even though that looks like it snapped into place perfectly. I uh, might want to just select both and do a line center, then a line middle. So it looks good. Now the difference here, now what I can do is you see how it also flipped and rotated, uh, flipped the uh, yellow diamonds. Now. This makes a little bit more sense, right? Because we want to start off giving some feedback around, you know, 20%, 40, 60, 80. Now I can just drag this in a clockwise direction and it'll make it a little bit easier to add that. Let's go ahead and name this second graphic, not gauge background, but gauge sector, okay? That's it for the two gauge graphics. Now we're going to go ahead and create the needle and we'll do that in the next movie.